Hi and welcome to the screencast. I'm your host Mama Tazam and in this screencast I will show you the, how you can get started with Iron Ruby by downloading Iron Ruby, configuring it and uh, basically building the application, building the Iron Ruby, all right? So you can go to C folder and over here you can create your own folder. You can say like Iron like my Iron Ruby and this is where we are going to download the Iron Ruby uh, from the uh, GitHub okay so first thing you need to download a tool and it's called msysgit that particular tool is actually going to allow you to connect to the uh, to the github and actually download all the code all the you know source code for iron ruby so when you have got this tool installed it's a free tool of course you're just going to say uh, right click and you're going to say git bash here okay so it's going to give you this particular git prompt okay and from over here you can actually download it so you just say git clone and uh, I'm just going to say the whole URL that where Iron Ruby actually exists so Iron Ruby slash Iron uh, Ruby dot git and when you press the enter key it's going to download Iron Ruby to the my Iron Ruby project so once it's downloaded it's going to look something like let me see here we go something like this all right so just go to this folder and I'm, I'm going to show you certain things inside this folder which are very important go to the Merlin folder and now I'm going to go to main bin and debug so this is a path on my machine it can be different on your machine of course take a look at the IR uh, the oops the this where's here we go the exe file which is actually a configuration this configuration file now one of the things you like to do is to put this particular file the path of this file uh, in the system uh, the windows environment variables so that window can actually find it from anywhere okay uh, the reason that you're going to put this file or the path to this file in Windows environment is that because this particular configuration or the ir.exe file contains the path to other libraries that are going to be used by your application and here we go so these are the libraries that are going to be used by Iron Ruby so it if you try to add manually add those library to your project then it, it it might work but mostly it won't work because those libraries will have a dependency some on some other libraries and if you keep on doing that you'll be adding like 10 to 20 libraries just to use one main library so it's a good idea to do this and then you will have access to all the libraries because it's in system uh, the environment variables to set up the path and environment variables I'll just go to the uh, control panel and uh, just go to the advanced tab environment variables and over here in the system variables you will see the path oops sorry about that you'll see the path and if I say edit you will actually see that I have given the path to the uh, to the debug folder where this particular file actually exists so once you got this one ready you're pretty much cool to get started with Iron Ruby so basically I can go um, I can go to my command line now and let's say IR so now I'm on the Iron Ruby command prompt okay and I can say hello Iron Ruby and it's going to basically print out Iron Ruby hello Iron Ruby or something like that and I can do of course addition and all that kind of that stuff we're going to take a look at uh, this in the later uh, basically later you know screencast one other thing is that you will need the libraries okay so when you need a library you will have to basically uh, use uh, or compile the whole project okay and um, what I'm actually having trouble is finding where the project actually resides so uh, here we go so the project is actually in the Ruby or main languages in Ruby you open this project in your Visual Studio 2008 and you build the project so you'll have the access to the libraries okay uh, these are all the Ruby things but you will have those DLLs and then you can actually use that in your I don't know C sharp project and you can do certain things so this particular screencast was just to get started get you started with the Iron Ruby project and one of the other articles that you will love to see 
and let me actually drag out the screen over here go to high on coding and if you see on the left side the last tab is iron ruby just click on iron ruby and i have like three articles right now and i'm writing more but check out the first look at the iron ruby and you will uh, see that there is a lot of stuff defined over there that is uh, relevant to of uh, you know getting started with iron ruby and i have uh, actually detailed instructions to how to get started as you can see it's a long article took me some time to write it so go ahead and read it okay last thing i want to discuss is screencast a day is always looking for sponsors uh creating videos like that creating screencasts like this is not an easy task it takes time and effort if you do like to sponsor uh, for screencast today, please email me at awesomesharp at gmail dot com. Maybe we can work something out. Maybe you can sponsor it, and I'll be able to create more screencast. Thank you very much, and stay tuned on screencast today to watch more screencasts.